Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, I know it's been a few weeks since I uploaded a video, so this week I am going to be doing a tutorial um, and it's going to be a little bit different because I'm going to be doing a mixture of a draw with me tutorial and a Cricut tutorial. So if you have been following me on Instagram, you'll know that recently the lovely people at Cricut UK gifted me a Cricut maker um, and I've been playing around with a couple of different ways to use the machine. Um, and one thing that I found there just isn't a lot of tutorials online about is the print and cut feature um, which I personally love because it means that I can turn a lot of my designs um, into stickers or even decals so what I'm going to show you how to do today is to use the print and cut feature to create a transfer for a mirror or window so to start off I'm using procreate um, and what I've done here is I've opened up a new canvas and I'm using the font that I created in the font tutorial a few weeks ago to write out please wash your hands because I want to create a decal for my mirror in the bathroom um, that is a colorful reminder to continuously wash your hands in these uh, strange times that we are in. So I've gone ahead and added some little hand-drawn stars to either end of the phrase, just to add a little something extra. Um, now I'm going to add a new layer on top of the text and turn it into a clipping mask so I can play around with the colors. Rather than changing the color of the text directly, um, I just find this is an easier way to play around with colors because I can directly color on top of the letters and then when I'm happy with it, I'll just merge it down into that layer underneath um, and then the text will be colored. Um, I am going to be printing this onto transparent uh, vinyl sticker paper so it's really important that the colors are quite saturated because once it's printed and peeled away there will be no white backing um, to make the color stand out so if you do recreate this at home and you also use transparent uh, vinyl sticker paper just keep that in mind Okay, now that I'm happy with the colors, I've gone ahead and merged all the layers into one layer and then created a new layer behind my text and star details. Now I'm going to go in with a monoline brush and I'm going to start creating a white outline on a layer behind the text and details. These are going to be our cut lines. So when this prints, we won't actually see these white outlines, but once we upload it into the Cricut, design studio it will register the white outlines behind as the cut lines which will give us a nice space between where the machine cuts and where our text is you can make your cut lines a little bit tighter to the lettering if you prefer something a bit finer um, but from playing around with the machine I personally prefer giving just a little bit extra space to the machine um, because sometimes if you paste your paper uh, slightly off on the mat or there's just like a slight um, error with the cutting it's a lot easier for the mistake to go unnoticed when the cut lines are wider from the lettering as opposed to if you keep it too tight to the letters. Okay, now I'm happy with my cut lines and I've merged the text and star details onto those white outlines and I'm ready to export the file as a PNG. 
Now I'm going to go ahead and open up the Cricut Design Studio. I'm going to open it up first here on my iPad to import the design because it's just a lot faster than airdropping it over to my laptop and then opening it up there. I'm going to create a new canvas or a new project in the Cricut Design Studio and I'm going to upload my PNG file from my camera roll. Then I'm going to just quickly click through all of this. Here you can clean up your cut lines if there's any little speckles around it or it's not a proper cut line. And you can also preview what the mat is going to cut. And the most important thing here is to save it as a print and cut and not just a cut project. Okay, so now I'm ready to go ahead and import the design into my project canvas. And if I open up my layer menu here to the right, I can see that at the moment, this layer is too big for my machine. So I need to reduce the size of it and place it on the mat um, so that it's ready for cutting. I've lined it up and I've reduced the size. I'm ready to click on the make it button. So this is going to look for my machine, which I have set up with Bluetooth and it's going to show me a preview of the print and cut. So now I'm ready to go ahead and send this to my printer um, and get it lined up on my mat ready for the cut. Now the design is printed, it's time to select the material. So I use printable vinyl and I change the cutting to less. Um, so that will give me a kiss cut in, as opposed to a uh, cut through on the paper, which means I'll actually be able to peel away my design from the backing paper once it's cut. Now it's time to line up the print on the mat. As you can see, I actually went back and changed my mind and decided to put uh, two of the design onto one print as opposed to one because I realized I actually had space for that and it was gonna be less of a paper waste. Once I've done that, I line up my mat into machine um, and I press the load button, which is that little up and down arrow that you can see flashing. So the machine's gonna take the mat and then once I press the C button, it will start the process. So the first thing it does with a print and cut is it scans for those black lines around the design to find where you've placed it and then it will start the cut. And there you go, my finished please wash your hands mirror transfers. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and that you enjoyed getting to see a little bit of how the Cricut Maker works. Um, if you did, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And I will see you again next week for another tutorial.